Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And we are continuing our discussion on Thor the Devour King. It is a face-off between Betty Ray Bill and King Thor. And the emotions that come with this book is amazing. But before we begin this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and post a comment below. And let me know what you guys think. And also, when you see the notification bell, hit that, hit the up, and hit the all part of it. So that way, whenever I update or upload, you guys can get my videos. So in the last episode, we saw King Thor and Galactus on the planet Clops, where Galactus consumed the planet. He essentially made Thor out to be a liar because Thor promised the people of Clops that they will have a home world to go to. But Galactus ended up consuming the planet all the way to the point that it exploded. And that didn't really sit well with Thor who was not happy and they did a little scuffle where Galactus got his fingers and knees blown out but in the process of attacking and battling Thor he ends up getting attacked by Beta Ray Bill which then leads us into a standoff between Beta Ray and Thor where Beta Ray is begging Thor to move out the way so he can have his vengeance on Galactus something Thor is refusing to do this led Beta to believe that Thor is being mind controlled and he swears that he will free him from Galactus' hold on him, which leads to Beta getting slapped to a nearby moon. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this now. This lets you know how strong Thor is at the moment because he has the Thor Force and the Thor Force is essentially something like the Odin Force, but it's Thor's power. But Thor also obtained Odin's power and... Now he has the power cosmic stacked on top of it. As you guys can see, this guy has gained ultimate power at this point. Thor is trying to explain to Beta that he is choosing this path because he is trying to save the universe. But Beta still believes that Thor is beyond mind control. So Thor powers down to show Beta that he made this choice on his own free will and that he isn't under any mind control or he's not being braced. Watch that he is a slave to no one. He is just trying to save the universe. As soon as Thor had powered down and he's trying to talk to Beta Ray Bill, Galactus saw his opening and tried to sneak attack Thor like, yeah, I caught this little Asgardian slipping, telling Thor that he gave the power cosmic to him, he could take it away. Something Thor tells him that he didn't give him anything, which is actually a good point. And he actually took the power from Galactus and that he will honor his word about helping Galactus save the universe. But... When this is all over, the two of them have some unfinished business that needs to be settled. Now, this pisses off Beta Ray Bill because he cannot believe that Thor will willingly help Galactus, a being who destroyed his homeworld and countless others. And he's he really just lost it. He asked Thor, how can he lift a hammer? But as we all know, Mjolnir is actually getting heavier for Thor to lift, where he be where Beta begins to question Thor's leadership, saying that he would never dishonor Odin in his kingdom. Now Beta Ray Bill is poking the bear because Thor is starting to get pissed, reminding Beta that it's his kingdom now. Something Beta talks to him about, but Thor reminds him that this isn't easy for him, especially all the things Galactus has done, but he's willing to align with the devil to save the universe. Bill tells him he is king and he's trying to guilt Thor. And, you know, honestly, that's not going to get Thor to move any faster or work any harder. By telling him that the countless deaths that Galactus does at this point is on his crown. And he could have sent an army. He could have sent himself. He could have asked anyone but not aligned with Galactus. And that's something. The thing is that Betty Rail Bill is not really seeing the big picture. He's literally just seeing face value what it is he sees that thor is helping galactus and galactus the uh, devour of war i mean devour of worlds is something he can't get over especially how his home planet what had gone down but that's what thor is trying to tell him thor is telling him that he is king of asgard and he's making the cho choices that many may not like but they must be done and he throws me in there at beta ray bill who catches it because at one point, Bill was worthy to hold the ha well, hold Thor's hammer. And when Thor calls back his hammer, 
Bill won't let it go. And Thor tells him that it could take off his arm or specifically kill him. But Bill tells him that Thor is unworthy to hold the hammer after aligning with Galactus. So Thor decides to take Stormbreaker from Bill and he's begging, he's begging bill to yield which bill refuses to do and he ends up breaking stormbreaker on Mjolnir. now i'm gonna tell you why this is so highly emotional and you know you know thor didn't want to do it but bill is giving him no choice to do it see back in thor issue 339 the the first volume volume one this is the first time you are introduced to Stormbreaker and see it being created and everything. So for him to break it, it's highly, highly emotional. And again, Thor tells him to yield as begging him, saying, please, brother, just yield. And Beta's like, "You, we are not brothers at all. I'm not feeling you. I'm not. Uh, no, nah, F all that. And before he could smash his head in, Sif comes because she's had enough and she's watched enough and just, you know, pretty much begging Thor to stop doing what he's doing and hear her out in the process. And that's how I'm going to end this video. And this, this, like I said, the Vire King story arc, this is good. What Diane Case is doing with this. A1, 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 A1. And uh, I want you guys to stay tuned for part four and that's going to be coming out soon but peace you guys